Um, how pleased are you with just the way that you guys are scoring runs? It's it's very different than maybe we've become used to around here, but it seems like it's actually been kind of effective here lately. Yeah, you know, we're just uh, we're trying trying to be creative in scoring runs. Um, you know, bunting, do, doing like I said, doing some hitting and running, stealing bases. I mean, it's part of the game. We, you know, I told these guys just say, hey, be ready for anything. You never know. You know, we gotta we gotta score. We gotta try to score first. Um, you know, it's amazing. You know what happens when. Our starting pitcher pitching goes out there and gives us, you know, five plus six innings. Um, uh, you know, things change. So you know, these guys are uh, played well the last couple of days, um, and we played well a couple of games in in, um, in Atlanta as well. So uh, proud of them. You know, I've said this before. Uh, they don't quit. They're going to play hard every day. Um, so we'll see what happens. We got day off tomorrow, which is well needed, and uh, we'll come back and do it again Thursday. I know it's a strange year and, and maybe it's not possible to do this, but do you feel like maybe you guys are starting to develop your own identity that sort of what this team is about that that's different from the past team? Yeah. It's, I, you know, I think with, like I said, with some of the additions that we've had with the, with the Brock coast, uh, you know, the Harrison, um, you know, having some of these younger kids, just trying to teach them how to play the game. We really are. I mean, uh, you know, the little things matter. I said that all, I said that for years, and they're doing the little things, and uh, we're scoring runs. Adam Eaton today, two beautiful butts, you know, gets guys over, um, you know, just – and he helped out. We scored on both times. So um, just doing the little things uh, goes a long way. Alex Chappell, Madison TV. Hey, Davey, you bring up Brock Holt. So I'm just wondering, you know, when he came here to the Nationals, and a lot of players will say it's challenging when they join a new ball club. And now seeing the groove that he's in, you stuck with him. What are your thoughts on what he's putting together offensively for your ball club? Hey, I've always been, I've always been a Brock Holt fan. I mean, I've, I've seen him play for many, many years. Uh, I, I love his intensity. He's a gamer. Uh, he'll, he'll play anywhere, hit anywhere in the lineup. Um, he just loves the game and plays the game the right way. But, you know, when we got him here, he didn't play much in Milwaukee. And uh, Riz did a great job of bring, bringing him here, and he's fit. He's fit right in, and now that he's getting some uh, consistent at bats. He's doing well. Uh, I love those kind of players. I really do. I mean, he stands in there. He's not afraid, afraid of left-handed pitching. Um, hits righties really well. So uh, he joked around with me today about uh, being released to hit third on a new team in the lineup. So I says, "Hey, I'm not afraid. So you know, just be ready. Be ready to play. That's all I ask you to do. Be ready to play." So he's been a good addition. With Kurt Suzuki also talked about that last night too, just his personality, or for Brock Holt, his personality. He's a great clubhouse guy, just a great teammate. What have you learned about just who he is as a person in the short time that he's been here? Yeah, he loves, like I said, he, he loves the game. He loves, uh, he loves uh, his teammates. You know I mean? He's, he's fit right in so already. Um, and he brings, he's been, you know, he brings a little bit of um, a kind of, Kind of reminds me of, uh, of a Dozier, um, you know, bring, brings that little, he loves to sing. I know that, you know, he says he wants to go to Nashville and be a country singer after this. So we'll see, but um, I asked him if he was tone deaf, but uh, he's, he, he loves, he loves, just loves being with his teammates. Justin Camerato, LB.com. Hey, Davey, one question for you in two parts. Um, what did you think about the Rays intentionally walking Juan twice. That's something that we haven't seen done all that much this season. And when teams do that, how does that shape how you want to make your lineup? Yeah, you know, it's bound to happen. I mean, Juan's, a, you know, he's, he hit, just hitting the ball really well, you know, and um, we knew it was eventually going to happen. Um, those other guys, you know, got to pick him up. That's all they got to do. I can't, um, you know, we're trying to find somebody to hit behind him uh, with Howie being out. You know, it, it's tough, but, you know, I, I like Zook tonight, hitting behind him. Uh, they walked him. Um, it's it's going to happen. But um, I told him, I said, it's just part of the game. So, you know, he, he understands it. He pulls for the guys behind him to drive him in. I mean, that, that's that's what we do. When that happens to a young player, do you tell him, like, take that as a sign of respect for your hitting abilities? Or what do you tell him? Yeah, I, you know, I have seen a lot of great hitters get walked. Um, when I was with Chicago, we walked Harper f four times in one game. <laughs> so... I mean, uh, when you can hit, I mean, that's going to happen. So it's like I said, I tell them all the time, hey, it's part of it. You know, just be ready when they pitch you. Be ready. You know, do, you, do your damage then. Todd Dibas, NBC Sports Washington. Hey, Davey. Um, 
many of us remember you walking Harper, by the way, and it became a huge thing. So uh, besides the point, uh, tomorrow will be your first scheduled day off in like 19 days, um, which is kind of a standard stretch in a regular season, but this year is a third of the season just went by in that section. So what are you doing tomorrow? I'm gonna to be a, a couch potato and just lay on that couch and not probably not move. Probably take about three or four naps, grab a little, you know, pick up some dinner somewhere. Uh, but that's it. I mean, and we really can't do much. And I don't like, honestly, I don't like really going out at this time. So yeah. I'm just going to hang out. All right. And do you, do you think that it comes at a decent time because you guys get a break um, and then have two days off next week and you have a very long home stand at the end of this month at the end of the season, or you just won four or five against two very good teams and you want to keep on trucking? No, I, I, I truly believe, you know, this day off comes well needed. I mean, you, like you said, we played 19 straight games. Um, mm -hmm. These guys have been battling. So uh, a day, day off won't hurt us. You know, we'll come back Thursday and, and do it again. Thank you. David Driver, Federal Baseball. Hey, David. Um, yeah, it was only one at bat, but Carter had a really big double there to drive in a run. Had a big smile at second base. Did you feel like maybe a little bit of a little bit was lifted off his shoulders? Yeah, good. I mean, good for Carter. I mean, he, he's working diligently, you know, and he, he's playing well. So, um, you know, they were him and his teammates joke around. You know, he got a double and he got, he got that monkey off his back. So he was happy, but you know, we were more happy that he drove in a run. Um, and that, that's important, and that's that's good for him. That he's just he's making progress. So, um, you know, I told him hey, he's going to play third base every day, and uh, just go out there and have fun and, and play the way he came of playing. He he really hasn't played third base a lot at, at the pro level. Are you surprised at how well he's adjusted to that position? But, you know, I'm not surprised because he's a good athlete. Um, but he's worked with Chip and and, and um, uh, Bogar really, really, really hard to, to get better, and he is better. His feet, footwork is getting better. His throwing, um, which is a different throwing over there from anywhere else he's played, has gotten a lot better. His arm strength is getting better. So, um, you know, the more you put him out there, the more you see him, he's going to get better, and he's starting to understand how to play the position. Thank you. Yeah. And Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. What difference has it made for your bullpen to have Doolittle back in form like this? What, what, what's the domino effect of that been in allowing you to use guys the way you want to use them? Man, it's been, I mean, he's, he's been really good. Um, you know, he gives, gives us that guy to get some, you know, right now gets those lefties out and even the righties in between. So uh, he's throwing the ball well. I mean, like I said, he, he feels good. He went down and, and tweaked some of his mechanics and uh, the ball's coming out um, really good. Spin rate's been good. So, I'm proud of him. You know, he went down and need, need to, did what he needed to do, and um, he's helping us win ball games, and it's good to see. I mean, he takes a lot of pressure off that bullpen when, he, when, he, when he's right, especially at the back end. So, um, you know, we're going to use him. I, told, I always told you that. You know, I got confidence in him and all those other guys out there, and we're going to use him, and we're using big moments like tonight. For what you've had to go through through much of the first two seasons here, um, how comforting is it to get to the seventh inning, and, and does it feel – um, you know, more like once you've gotten to that point, you, you're you're feeling good about your chances. It feels good. I mean, we 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 have an opportunity to once we get to the seventh uh, to to lock lock the game down. You know, and it, we have you know four or five guys right now that can that can really step up and do the job. You know, Hardy's been really really good uh, in that closer role. And then you, now you got Harris, you got Rainey, who's been phenomenal. Uh, you got Finnegan, you know, in the sixth or seventh. You got you know, Dude in the seventh or eighth. I mean, so, um, and Swero, you know, Swero came in today in a tough spot, but, you know, shut the door down, you know, and, and they gave up that other, that, that other run, that tying run. So um, I feel good, you know, like I said, that starting pitching gets us into that, that sixth or seventh inning and we got the lead. I feel pretty good about those guys. All right, thanks, Dave. All right, hey, real quick. So um, Ali's mom, Modami, Mrs. Modami, Made me a nice beanie. She sent it me, sent it to me. I got it yesterday, and I've been wearing it ever since. So I just want to tell her thank you so much, Mrs. Modami. I appreciate it. I've been wearing it in the clubhouse with two and zero since I got it. So love you.